And, and I, I was going to ask you if you expected more targets in the coming season, but we just heard Coach talk about how he thinks you know, 10 to 14 targets per game is where he'd like to see. How did that make you feel? Is that, that thing you excited about? Potential for the oh, absolutely. I mean, I've been excited ever since he came in. You know, ever since he came in, he's been talking to me and, and talking about getting ready for uh, many, many amount of snaps, many amount of targets and stuff like that. So I'm super excited about it. And honestly, I just want to do what's, what's best for our team. I mean, we've been out of the championship for too long now, you know, so whatever gets us to the championship. And if it means getting me more targets, it is, I'm excited for it, yeah. Great. And then, um, are there any tight ends, you know, either in the NFL or maybe another college team that you kind of look up to and you kind of, uh, kind of embody some of their playing style? Uh, yeah, I mean, when I came in as a freshman, uh, there was Kahale Waring, uh, Parker Houston, uh, David Wells had just left. Uh, but, of course, Kahale I look up to. You know, he was my, my locker mate, actually, so he'd always give me some pointers here and there. So I look up to him, and uh, I've seen what he's been doing in the league, and he's been sprinkled in here and there. But, yeah, I definitely look up to our past Aztecs who are in the league now. And then are there any of your offensive teammates that have kind of impressed you the most so far in spring camp? Uh, you mean freshmen or do you mean just anybody? Any, anybody. Anything I mean, that we wouldn't expect. I mean, uh, everybody's really just been developing good. You know, like, like Coach Heck was saying, I mean, everybody from freshmen to, to all the way up to seniors, they've all been, been getting this offense down and we've all been developing pretty well. Uh, specific names, I would say, freshman-wise, Armstead, you know, my tight end brothers, uh, Jay, Aaron, they've been doing real well. And then, of course, uh, the, the quarterback competition's been good. You know, I'm comfortable with all three of them, and we've all been all been developing well, getting this getting this system down. So, I mean, overall, we've we've all been doing pretty well. Thank you, Dan. Of course. Thanks, Andre. We'll go to Paul. Um, Coach talked throughout the spring about um, you being more uh, dangerous yards after the catch. Um, how have you practiced that this spring? Um, yeah. Uh, well, Coach Savai, uh, he's been a great job with us. You know, he's he's come in and he he learned the ropes pretty quick, and uh, you know he's been a, he's been doing a great job getting us a lot of footwork drills and a lot of vision drills and and just being able to just catch turn and be able to read the field like I haven't been able to do before um so I really I I give it to coach Savai for doing a great job on uh getting us getting us where we need to be um, and you joined the uh, senior leadership group this year um what what has that experience been like for you uh, I mean it's been it's been great you know I mean the Aztec leadership has always been really important. Uh, the senior leadership's always been really important, and uh, it's been great. You know, it's it's obviously it was difficult last year with COVID, but uh, the seniors did a great job. And you know, when Parker was here, he he gave me a lot of good good aspects on on how to be a leader and and, and how to lead, especially in the tight end room. So you know, it's it's been good. It's been exciting, and it's been uh, it's it's been good. And so you just mentioned the tight end room. What is it that you were um kind of imparting just these younger guys that you mentioned from Andre's question? Honestly, I've been I'm just imparting what I've what I've done since I've been here. You know, I just do everything do everything right. You know, uh I've been following Coach Savai's philosophy. You know, he's he has this one philosophy is three to four, A to B. You know, we just we finish everything and, and it's just this mentality of uh, of what tight ends are. You know, they're the, they're supposed to be the baddest on the field and and it's that's what we've been trying to implement in the younger guys. Um and the last question for me, how has uh, participating like in a full off season with a full spring um, impacted the offense and the implementation of uh, Coach McClinton's system? Oh, tremendously. I mean, you look back at last year, we had, what, six practices in the spring? And then we had, we had to basically put in a whole offense on uh, Zoom. And you know the struggles with that. I mean, it's it was it was a lot, and you know we we, it's one thing to see it, and it's another thing to actually do it and rep it and see it live. So this spring's been huge. You know we can actually practice, especially against our defense, one of the best defenses in the country, which has been huge for us. So I mean it's it's been really great to be able to have these practices and to have this development because last year we just didn't have that, and it's no excuse, but I mean it's it's definitely very helpful this year. Terrific. Thank you. Thank you, Paul, and we'll, we'll go to Kirk. Hey, Daniel. Uh, 
I know your guys' defense takes a lot of pride in how well they play. Uh, tell me about that touchdown you had in the scrimmage, and I think you made a move on one guy and beat a couple others to the end zone. Did that give you something to talk to them about? Yeah, yeah, they always like to, to talk smack to us, and we always like to talk back, but it was it was something that uh, we could we could chirp back at them and uh, and keep them on their toes because they they think they got us and then we come back right at them with the tight end screen and something like that and it just it frustrates them but it, it makes us all better at the end of the day so it's 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 fun competition at the end. Coach Hook was saying that between last spring and this one he's seen a lot of growth from you. What where do you think you've grown the most as a player and a person? I mean overall I mean I've I've put on some more weight which is good I mean I needed that for my blocking personally. Uh, but with Coach Devai, when he came in, he he helped me a lot with my footwork blocking wise, and and probably the best best thing I've and the best thing I've grown with is probably yak yardage, which was she was really important. You know, when I first came back in uh, in winter training, they were just huge on uh, make sure you get yak yak yak, and uh, so that's probably where I've improved the most. It's easy to say get yards after the catch, but how do you actually you know practice to do that? What do you do to make that happen? Uh, just, just a lot of like small things, a lot of small drills. Like, what do you do when the when the defender comes at you? Uh, footwork and and being able to stiff arm and being able to just just catch the ball, turn it, and those transitions after the catch and transitions into the route and after the route and just stuff like that is is really important. You came out of high school. You're obviously a very talented high school player, and that's how you get the opportunity in college. But taking that jump, what's the biggest thing you had to learn as a tight end to, to be successful in college? Uh, for myself, the biggest the biggest transition was just just the speed of the game, and the speed of of the D lineman that you face, and the speed of the safeties and the corners, and overall just just how fast everything moves and how you got to get used to that. Oh especially in our ASIC defense, they're going to shift, they're going to do stunts, and they're going to do everything full speed, and they're going to come at you with everything they got. And, you, and from high school, it's like they didn't have as many schemes. It was just like a 4-3 defense that would just come straight at you. But in, in college, it's, it's a, lot of, a lot of different stunts and techniques you got to have, and you gotta be you got to be able to do everything at 100% if you want to be good. I know coming out of high school, and you guys are all young, so you you know you tend to want things now. How have you had to learn maybe patience? Because it looks like your moment's upon you now, and how have you had to learn kind of the patience to wait for that over four years? I uh, definitely learned it from from Parker and, and Kahale. You know, they they showed me that that it takes time to develop, especially at this position because I came in like 220 pounds, and I needed to be at least 240 to get some kind of some kind of weight in my system in order to be able to block these bigger dudes. So the the development, I mean, I, I got to credit Coach Hall, I got to credit uh, anybody in the strength staff and the strength staff to uh, my weight and to just be able to get the strength and speed that was needed. But the the patience came from the older guys because they looked down and be like it's all right. Like anytime I messed up, they'd be like it's all right. It's gonna come. You just gotta you gotta learn from these reps. You gotta watch the film and and just just take everything one step at a time. And, and the patience from from their aspects on to me was was helpful a lot. The glory comes with catching the ball, but it's so important to be a good blocker. Was that something you really had to work on too as you developed? Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, when I was in high school, we we ran the double wing, so it was just block down, block down, block down. And then when I came here, it was so much more footwork and technique, and and you got to see where the guy's gonna line up in the film of where he's gonna go and how he's gonna do it. And you got and the speed of it, the speed of it was 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 huge. Uh, but I. I I thoroughly enjoy blocking now than when I first came in because when I first came in there was so much that I didn't understand and now it's it's just fun especially when I have guys like uh, Zach Thomas with me and, and it's just it's just fun out there. And a lot of guys they want to point to their stats to get them to the next level but do you realize how big blocking is how they view blocking at the next level? Oh of course uh, ever since I came in it was it was like if I want to make it to the next level I not only have to do things in the, the passing game, but but blocking is going to be be very important, and I knew that from from when I came in. When you came on, stepped on the campus as a freshman, did you think you'd be here three years or four or how long? And and you know what were your ambitions and your expectations for getting to the next level? I wasn't sure how long I would uh, be here when I got here. I mean, of course, I wanted to be here for four years, especially when I played after my first year and I didn't have that opportunity to register. I thought I was going to be here for the four years, get my degree, and if I had the opportunity, of course, take it to the next le to the next level. Uh, but it was just it was just 
just honestly just taking the time and the patience because like you said earlier like everybody wants it now they want they want it all happening right now and of course I had that when I first came in it was like oh I want to get the glory I want to do this I want to make it to the next level um, but I've, I was always taught that you had to get the degree first because the degree is going to get me get me farther in life than just my my goals and aspirations for the NFL and the older guys helping me out with with the patience part was was helpful a lot. Can you talk about your parents or your sister? And who's been the biggest influence growing up on you, and why? Uh, football wise, definitely my dad. My dad's been here, been there every step of the way. You know, ever since I was six years old, he was pushing me to to play with the older guys and and to do things with with the best. You know, I don't know if you've you've heard of him, but uh, his name's Brevin Jordan. I actually played little league with Brevin Jordan, who's going to be in this upcoming draft. And you know, my dad always pushed me to be like be like the best. And you know, he always compares me to the best and. He's he's been there every step of the way, every game, every practice, and he's always pushed me to be the best football player I could be.